Hello, my beloved friends. Trying to set up the phone correct away. Um, how is everybody tonight? Well, today I would like to talk. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions on why to actually do the energy healing. When I am um, somewhere with people that don't know me and they ask me, what do I do? I go very, very... Uh, carefully explaining what exactly I do. Uh, one of the reasons because I don't really know what I'm doing <laughs> and how it is working. But usually I will say, oh, I am an alternative medicine, which start, and if people are pressing for more answer, I will again very, very slowly go, well, you know, like massages and Another um, stuff that it's going on, you know, the stones and, and everything. Well, I don't do that, actually. I, I work with energy. Most of people know Reiki. So I said, yeah, it's right, Reiki, but um, in my opinion, more complex than Reiki, which that's my personal belief, belie beliefs that, you know, what I do is it's much, much more complex. <sighs> How I explain to my clients or potential clients or people who are interested in that is that we have a, a doctors that's excellent. We have to have a doctors. If you're in an accident or you break your leg, do not even call your um, energy <laughs> healer practitioner. You go to the hospital first. They are absolutely needed. Absolutely. If you are on a medication, if you have any illness or anything else, the first thing what I tell my clients, do not stop doing what your doctor is telling you. Absolutely not. What I found out that if I work with the doctor, it works the best. Meaning, yes, most, not most, some of my patients, doctors call me actually and we have a consultation with them with about the client or client gives me a messages. Uh, I always go, if you are on a blood pressure medication, do not lower your dose or watch the talk to your doctor first if you want to lower the, your dose or get off the medication right away. Never, never, never stop. Uh, just go of cold turkey or stop doing what your doctor is telling you. It's best if we are communicating together. Why to do? Because our human bodies are very complex system and a system that we do not fully understand. Like I was talking about DNA. Like we don't know what 80% of DNA is all about. They're calling it a trash. It's not a trash. We don't know how our system fully yet works. Why something happening, what it's happening, we don't fully understand. We are not fully using the power of our body. So doctors are here to study our bodies and they are here to try to heal you from their knowledge. Again, their knowledge, which we all agree the knowledge is limited. And doctors specialize. Do you have a lot of specialists? If those, if you go to three different specialists and they do not talk to each other or do not match, do not do the consultation, which they usually, for God's sakes, they don't talk to each other. So they, uh, they might try to heal you from the one side and not putting together all the symptoms, all the points, what uh, they should. And in addition, they are trying to heal your symptoms. Again, symptoms. And what they usually do, they're trying to numb your symptoms, which is absolutely not a good idea. Not all the time. You have to, in our physical bodies, in our normal life, you have to operate. So 
yes, yeah, sometimes I do too take the medicate or to headache pill to for headache to go away until I actually have a time to work on myself or space to work on myself and to go away or just help me to work on myself to go away. But make sure you do not do that often and make sure this is not the only way how you're treating your illnesses. When the energy healers, what they should be doing, um, I always try to explain it at the beginning that I am like the internet cable, you know, that you plug your computer into the router. <laughs> that doesn't work anyway because anymore because we have a Wi-Fi. So I always say like I'm satellite or the Wi-Fi. Something when I do the healing, it's coming through me, not from me. It's not my knowledge that healing you. It's the energy that coming through me that it's coming into you. And it's always uh, the type of the healing that I do, it's based on free will. And that's that's why I choose that type of the healing because that's what I am all about, your free will. So when I tune into the energy and it's coming through me to you, your internal computer, your main computer is doing the download into your body. And we all, our computer have or should have, you know, some kind of protection software. So your protection software will kind of take and, and uh, let it into your computer, just the one that it's really, really needed for you. And then that internal computer in your body actually spreads this wherever it needs to go. So see what's happening? Not my knowledge is the highest knowledge highest possible knowledge, universal, the newest, absolute newest knowledge, excuse me, the strongest knowledge, it's coming. You're downloading that into your system and you are the boss. You're spreading where it needs to go. My brain is not that, none of the doctor's brain is that smart than your body, than you yourself, because you know exactly when it needs to go and where it's coming. It's coming directly to the root of the problem, not the symptoms. Never, when the client's coming to me first time, I never wanted to know why they are here. If it's a psychological, if it's physical, if it's spiritual, I never want to know. Because then if I can see something or I sense something or you have a healing, you know that it's not something that I told you, that it's not suggested. It's it's really happening and it's really happening for you, with you, by you. <laughs> so, if you have illness and you go to the doctors, it's basically just taking half a step towards the healing. Like it or not, if you are just putting yourself in a box of the doctor's help, you are not getting the full help that you needed. And why limit yourself? It's too, f too funny, not too funny, but I always just shake my head when people coming to me when I am the last resort. Mm -hmm. Usually they are coming to me and saying when the doctors cannot help them or will, their knowledge cannot help them anymore. And then they come to me. So I said, why didn't you come to me a year ago? Like you even knew me or you knew me for 20 years, for God's sakes. Why didn't you come sooner? And they are like, well, you know, because I don't believe it. Bingo. I love the most people they don't believe. You do not have to believe in that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. Uh, the, the best patients are that they are non-believers. They are skeptics. And why? Because when they come to me, they do not have any expectation what it should be. So they are ready to accept 
what it is really coming. Because once you have expectation, once you are been to many healers or or know something about that or read something about that, you think, well, you know, um, you work on me and nothing happened. I said, good. That's 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 good. Well, shouldn't I smell something? Well, some people do. Or shouldn't I see something? Well, some people do. I didn't move. I just slept. That's good. That's good. It's still working. Because these experiences are specifically for you. You cannot have the same experience than the person before you. If you are here with your sister, you should not have the same experience that your sister has had. Why? Because we are all different. You do not need what your sister needs. So that's why we have a different experience. And I had a couple of people coming to me and say, you know, I had a patient, she came, we had a session, and three weeks, three, four weeks later, into four weeks later, she came back and she's like, well, I'm here again because nothing happened first time. Okay, good. So we had a session and then we had a little chat like I do always after the session or next day if it's late at night and I just say well so how are you doing what's new in your life you know and she's like oh I just wanted to tell you that uh, you know I was looking for a job for a long time and I finally found it two weeks late uh, two weeks ago I found a new job that I was looking like for a long time oh awesome congratulations so then um, I said so what else is new well you know what? I was driving by and suddenly I found the apartment that I wanted to move. You know, it, it was just like, just, just was there. They just put it out for rent for a long time that I was looking at that house and I really wanted to go there. And of course I started laughing. I said, okay, what else is new with you? And she's like, you know what? Um, I have to send a thank you card to my doctor because the medication finally start working uh-huh <laughs> and of course I had a grim on my face I said okay so how long have you been taking those medications and she's like just two years uh-huh but you still think that nothing happened after the after the session well no I just slept of course I let it be because once you do not see something that is right in front of your face you cannot convince anybody. But yeah, when healing happened that, you know, the medication finally started working, okay. I, you know, I don't care. <laughs> yep. Yes, Alen <laughs> yes, Alenka. It's yeah. Do you know how many times that did happen to me that they thank their doctors and they spread everywhere the doctors doing <laughs> well. Well, as long as it's health. So that sometimes, you know, I just laugh because as long as it's helping and as long as, you know, you're taking care of yourself, that's my goal. So <laughs> as long as you don't telling other people not to do it because it's not working and denying the other people the opportunity to actually get help, that's when it really ticks me. Um, but we have our free will and everybody should think for themselves. Yes, yes, Alenka. Although at times some clients don't experience anything at, at all, there is a definitely an energy shift happening. Yes, you are absolutely correct. Um, some people do not experience anything because if they do, they would uh, get scared. And fear does not work with that. Um, I had a lot of, not a lot, I have a few clients and they basically woke up and stood up and were afraid to do anything because they thought their heart stopped. Um, some people will heart really, not that it doesn't stop, but it start being very, very slowly like the uh, top-notch um, athletes, their heart beats very slowly. 
some people will heart start beating very fast and people get scared. So sometimes the universe knows what you need. They put you in a sleep so you do not prick, basically, when you start experiencing this. But just allow the energy coming. So that's why, um, and more and more doctors are open to that. Within my 15 years of doing this, I can I came from oh you are the charlatan you need to be burned uh, on on a cross from okay we'll see what we can do how we can work together it's absolutely amazing and and I, I I'm just absolutely blown away how people are open to it because you're getting help you're getting help in complex not just the doctor's knowledge which we all need. And we need their tools and we need their, you know, machines and everything else. And we need them too. But do not limit yourself just to that. If you have so much opportunity to do more for yourself. And how to choose um, practitioners. If you are choosing um, first... I wouldn't say that. Uh, to choose whatever you feel the practice. Um, whatever, if you like Reiki or you like, just just tune into it. Read about that um, and talk to practitioners in the be beginning. Uh, you know, usually people are so intuitive that sometimes even... Looking at the picture or, or tuning in, uh, if you are on edge about this, talk to that person first. I don't, I don't believe so. There is one practitioner they would not give you five minutes or their time just to talk, and see what kind of feeling. Like watch their work. Um, you just had a huge <laughs> opportunity to tune into me since I was doing all this videos. So. Tune into the work, see their work, feel it more. How you feel about this person. And then, you know, get educated, like with the doctors. Get educated what what the practice is, what type of practice is, and if you really liked it. Now, don't prejudge too much, because as I said, every single person will have a different experience. So if you see... Uh, somebody talking about that particular practice, for example, for example, Reiki, doesn't mean that you will have same experience. Now, for example, what I do the part of my business is reconnection healing, uh, reconnective healing and reconnection, but I took it. I just let it be whatever it is. So combine whatever I do is I always tune in into person um, and I do the reconnective healing or the my type of healing that I'm doing depends. So and if you ever come to the person and the person scares you and put a fear in you for any reason asking you to come back and back and come back and back and back. Um, I would suggest to reconsider it because true practitioner will never um, never work for you to come back all the time. If they tell you you have to be you have to take a certain amount of medication or certain amount of vitamins or certain herbs or anything till end of your life. Why bother? I mean, if I'm going to the practitioner to get help to heal, why should I be have to taking that herb till you know till rest of my life, or take this vitamin till rest of my life? I should be get heal heal. That's why when I came to United States, I was working with uh doctors doctor who was nutritionist who was you know big she had a big vitamin store and everything else and that always bothered me 
when people came and and she would prescribe them like two hundred dollars worth of vitamins and and she told them you have to do it till end of your life it, that has to be healing somewhere should come so that's why when i was choosing and looking for whatever i want to do i choose the energy healing because this is to me personally this is the highest form of healing you can if it's coming directly from the universe and it's always coming the newest and in, newest information um to me there's nothing more nothing higher than energy so that's why i choose now you need to go and you need to choose whatever it's convenient for you you look what works for you don't let anybody in anything in anybody to tell you otherwise we are all different we all need something else and even if you choose a few different practitioners and few different different practices that's absolutely okay you need to find what works for you tuning into what's helping you and take it from there so my beloved friends thank you very much for watching and i love you very much and i will see you tomorrow bye bye